following the reception of fresh evidence against the mosaic artist, Father Marco Rupnik, the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith has extended its inquiry. This development aligned with an independent press conference conducted by two individuals claiming to be victims of Rupnik. And it takes courage to come forward against Father Marco Rupnik, a powerful cleric who's been protected at the highest levels of the Jesuits and the Vatican. Two alleged abuse victims of mosaic artist Father Marco Rupnik spoke publicly for the first time on Wednesday, February the 21st, detailing the tactics the former Jesuit allegedly used to manipulate them and to demand transparency from the Vatican and a full accounting of the hierarchs who covered for him for 30 years. Italian Gloria Branciani and Slovenian-born Mariam Kovac, former sisters of the now-dissolved Loyola community in Slovenia, shared their stories at a press conference in the Rome offices of the Trade Union for Italian Journalists, detailing the spiritual, psychological, and sexual abuse they suffered. We are very happy to have met again with the other sisters, but at the same time we are sorry, because the institutions, instead of taking a cue from our experience to review their own way of acting, continue to close themselves in silence in silence that we perceive as a rubber wall that rebounds every attempt to cure this unhealthy situation. After facing criticism regarding the management of Rupnik's case by the Pontifical Commission for the Protection of Minors in October of the previous year, Pope Francis decided to lift the statute of limitations in Rupnik's case. He instructed the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith to initiate a comprehensive canonical process. And in December of last year, the Vatican issued an order to close the religious female community, Loyola, co-founded by Rupnik. Marco Rupnik became famous for his mosaics that decorate churches and shrines around the world, including San Giovanni Rotondo, Fatima, and Lourdes. The faithful are divided about whether to keep the mosaics or have them removed. Bishop Jean-Marc Mikas of Lourdes shared with EWTN that he established a special commission to explore what to do with the mosaics. The commission will make a decision this spring. Uh, it's a very, 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 very difficult decision to, to make, but I have to make it, and I'm waiting on it. And well, this uh, occupies my mind and my prayer and my heart every day, um, especially when I meet um, victims of abuse and well I, I very often say that uh, the decision we'll make here uh, is made for Rhodes and only for Rhodes. The Jesuits asked Rupnik to leave their society last year after he refused to respond to allegations of spiritual, psychological and sexual abuses by 20 women. Amidst the ongoing investigation by the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith into the accusations against Rupnik, the Diocese of Koper in Slovenia, which welcomed him last year, emphasizes that Rupnik is presumed innocent until proven guilty.